So welcome back to another week in the little house in Orish, or outside the little house in Orish to be more precise, because I don't let's like to get under the feet of the workmen. They call me now and again and ask me to uh, check up on things, but you can maybe hear the noises off, which uh, is them working. Behind me is the corner of the plot here that we've never looked at before, and to be honest, it's a bit thick with trees for me to go in there, but um, it's an interesting thing. We might have to do something with it one day. Anyway, they are working in there. Let's go and have a look. A quick look round at the start of another week shows that Stefan is still plastering. Terry is making another cup of tea just before he goes up on the roof and carries on up there. And a huge slab of concrete has been dragged across by a forklift on top of the septic pit. The tea breaks over and Terry's back on the roof and Gensho is concreting this huge slab of concrete on top of the septic pit. And while they're doing that I've been taking a look round those trees I mentioned. There's a lane at the back of the house that you don't normally see and I flew the drone over them to see if there is any way in but it doesn't look like it so can't get in here from the ground or from the air but I'm sure we'll do something with this one day. We're flying the drone over onto the neighbour's property now and it's another one bedroom bungalow just like mine was before we extended it. Uh, nobody living here at the moment and we're trying to find out what's going to happen with this house. Kencho's new job here is cleaning off the second-hand tiles and handing them up to Terry as the roof work continues. And thanks to Davy for going up a ladder to film them actually on the roof. For those who do speak Bulgarian, I'm going to shut up for a minute so you can hear what they're talking about. Okay, so could you repeat that for me, please? Later on, Stefan returns to his work inside the house 
and the roof is progressing so well that it's getting darker and darker inside the extension. We see another delivery van pull up outside and the job continues by virtue of the fact that the supplies just keep on coming so here they are, they keep on coming. Did you notice that we've been on site for 10 weeks now and that bird's nest is still there? Not occupied, just still there. Plenty of tiles still to go up, but we're going to take a break. As you know, we spend the latter part of each day in Svishtoff, and this is the PR Club, one of the places that we've been to downstairs, but at this time of year, you do tend to go upstairs. For those who've been watching these videos for some years, you will probably recognize this venue because we have been here before with a load of people, and uh, you may remember the tree growing up in the middle. It's all been built around this tree. Nice feature. And of course, this time of year, it's definitely the outdoor spaces that everybody wants to go to. I think actually the downstairs restaurant was closed. There's a time for coffee and there's a time for a glass of wine. We think this is time for a glass of wine. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, there's more plastering going on, but Terry's taken the camera up on the roof. Now, he's not a cameraman, though that doesn't matter. He's the person who's prepared to walk all over the roof and have a look at it. And also, while he's up here, you can see some of the views around. In fact, I would say Terry's probably had some of the best views around the area from up here. Let's see if he manages to point the camera in the direction of any of them. Just want to hear your voice and say hi to you and say hi to you. want to hear your voice and say hi to you and say hi to you just want to hear your voice and say hi to you and say hi to you how are you i hope everything is okay with you how are you so a butterfly in the morning We're back in Svishtoff though, and for those who remember it, we're quite near the human sundial at this point. And there's a church called St. Dimitri's, I think it is. But there's a lady on the door who stopped us and said, no filming. We did find a picture on Google Maps that somebody had taken in 2021, so you do get a quick idea of what it's like inside. We're fairly high up here above the River Danube and you don't need a drone to get good views. You can see across the river to Romania from here. And then there's this area where you can just sit and look across the river and have a bit of a rest. It's right by a disused nightclub, which as far as I can remember has been disused the whole time we've been coming here. So sitting here looking out of the river is very restful, but it's not giving us any refreshment. So let's go past the old nightclub and past the hotel reception because the Hotel Calito has a side entrance you can go through and you end up in a cafe which has got a terrace out the back where we this time had coffee. Mm -hmm. 
The other terraces you can see here are for restaurant customers and hotel residents. We've got to Thursday in week 10 of this development and this should be the last week we're on site. 10 weeks is what we wanted. And apart from spinning the camera around under the roof so you can see the construction, Terry's gone back up top for another day to see if he can get some more shots. This time, as you may notice, the roof is actually finished, whereas the previous shots, there were still some bits to do. We hadn't put the gutters in the budget this time, so we've left the roof timbers sticking out until we know how much of them we actually need and we can chop the rest off. My thanks to Terry for going up on the roof a second time because uh, this time we can really see the surrounding countryside and how well located this particular house is in the village. It seems there's always more plastering to do, but Stefan is going to do something different for the last two days of this project. He's going to put up some metal profiles that we've had in stock for a while. Uh, these will eventually support the ceiling, and it'll be interesting to watch how this all goes together. I think we should take a look at our wonderful front door once again as Stefan has now plastered the outside area and also on the inside so it's all squared off and all ready to run. This is an interesting shot from the bedroom because it shows just how dark it is in the bathroom extension now, whereas that used to be the main source of light when we were doing these videos. We're taking a final look round at all the doorways that have been plastered and we're also now looking at the metal profile around the edges of the walls uh, which will support the ceiling. And there's more. Come back tomorrow. They say tomorrow never comes, but here we are on Friday. That was quick, wasn't it? And you'll now see how this ceiling framework ends up. Quick look in the bedroom where our flat pack kitchen units are now being stored. This is for the fitting out stage, which will probably have to have a separate budget next year. And perhaps the final finishing touch this week, made necessary by the fact that these metal rails are going up, is that the bird's nest was removed after all this time. It's taken 10 weeks to get this little house in Orish reconstructed to the way I want it, and I'm very pleased with the results. Now I said that that's actually officially the end of our 10 week project, but you can see there's a few loose ends need tying up. So we're going to come back next week. We have a couple of volunteers, including Stefan, who wants to get the ceiling profiles done. So join us for a couple more days on next week's Smart Train.